Welcome to the Snellsel experiment. We have to take first of all pro circle. On the pro circle, we have to place the semi circular glass disc as shown in the figure. Clearly, after placing, you have to take laser light. You have to make sure that the laser light should incident at a point O, like this as shown in the video. Now, I will increase the angle of incident slightly. So when I increase the angle of incident, you can observe the angle of refraction on other side, right? The light ray is traveling from rarier medium to denser medium, right? The downside rarier medium, upside uh, is a denser medium. When the angle of incident is 20 degrees, you can observe that the angle of refraction is 10 degrees. Now I will increase in the same manner. Now the angle of incident is 25, but angle of refraction is 15, right? So we know very well when the light ray is traveling from rarier medium to denser medium the light ray bends towards the normal this is what happening you have to record all these values in the table we have discussed already in the Snell's experiment right so for example now the angle is 40 degrees for 40 degrees angle I, angle I is equals to 40 degrees for 40 degrees angle of refraction is 25 these values you have to note it in the uh, table after that you have to follow the uh, calculations like sin i sin r and sin i by sin r r right so this is the experiment proof for that uh, when the light ray is traveling from rarer medium to denser medium right now the angle of incidence is 60 degrees when the angle of incidence is 60 degrees then angle of refraction is 35 degree approximately right uh, in this manner you have to do it and you can you, get, you have to get a number of times for i value and corresponding r values you have to note in the table now if you observe here you can observe the reflection as well refraction right i told you now when a light ray incident on any surface two phenomena will take place of course third phenomena also the third phenomena is absorption it depends upon the nature of the material right here this is the Snell's experiment. You have to note the values in the table and you have to go for further calculations. Then you will get sin i by sin r is equals to constant. Right? Now, uh, after Snell's in this chapter, we have discussed about one more experiment that is total internal reflection. Now, let us see the total internal reflection. For this experiment, we need pro circle and a semicircular glass disc and laser light now on the pro circle on the pro circle this is the pro circle on this pro circle we place the semicircular glass disc after placing we take the laser light and we will uh, switch on it now as i increase the angle of incidence if the angle of incident is 10 right if you see now angle of incident i am increasing to 10 now angle of incident is 10 but angle of refraction will be more when i increase the angle of incident angle of refraction is more because when a light ray is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium it deviates away to the normal at one particular angle you can find that angle of refraction is 90 degrees now angle of incident is 35 and angle of incident is 45 now the angle of incident is 40 now it will increase to 45 Yes, exactly. When the angle of incident is 43, 43, then what happened? The light ray is not entering into another medium. It is bounced back into the same medium. This phenomena is nothing but a total internal reflection. When the angle of incident is more than critical angle, the light ray don't enter into another medium. It bounces back into the same medium. Right? This is called total internal reflection. In total internal reflection, angle I is equal to angle R. Clear? can observe very well here this is about the total internal reflection experiment still if you have any doubts please comment below and thank you very much for subscribing please share and like thank you all of you